Hey guys, welcome to Percentiles. This is the first part of number system. So we are just starting with the chapter number system. Number system is an important chapter from the CAT and other exams point of view. Although the questions of number system are regularly decreasing in the actual exam, but we need to keep in mind that they are the direct questions. Like if I talk about CAT 2019, there was not a single question on the number system. In CAT 2018, there was only two questions. Right? In CAT 2017, there was only two questions from the number system. But when it comes to the DEI part, that is the data interpretation part, the concepts of number system play a very major and very important role in that. So to be updated with that and to tackle that, we need to be very smooth with this particular chapter this is actually the basics of all the quants that is the number system so let's start with the number system and we are starting with the classification so first of all if i ask you to think of a number like i am asking you to think of five numbers inside your mind so the possibility is that you came up with a number that is uh, integer in fact a positive integer and that to a single digit or a two digit number so why actually is this is happening because in our day-to-day -day life we are majorly concerned about these numbers we deal with these kind of numbers but is this the whole universe of the numbers the answer is no the numbers can be divided into two groups on a very broad perspective that is the real numbers and the imaginary numbers the good thing here is that imaginary numbers are not in our syllabus so we will not be dealing with the imaginary numbers let's come to the real numbers so real numbers can further be divided into rational and irrational numbers as you can see here the rational numbers are what the rational numbers are the numbers which are in the form of p by q where q is not equal to zero that is the denominator should not be equal to zero one more thing is there that p and q must be belonging to an integer this can be a terminating decimal or a recurring decimal. So what is a terminating decimal? Terminating decimal is a decimal that actually ends like 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2? 1 by 2 in the decimal system is 0.5. So there is no digit after 5. So if I say 1 by 4, so 1 by 4 is what? That is 0 0.1, 0 0.25. That is like if I say 1 by 8, it is nothing but 0 0.125. Nothing after 5 here. Right. So these are the terminating decimals. If I uh, Right. So, what is the property that a number should have to be a terminating decimal? That is, in the denominator of a fraction, if we have a power of 2 or a power of 5 or a combination of power and 2 and power of 5, then it will be a terminating decimal. Let's say, I take an example that is 3 by 6. Here, if I see the denominator, there are two prime numbers, 2 and 3. But, if I look at this 3, I can cancel out this 3 with the numerator. And the, in the lowest form, it is just 1 by 2. So, yes, it is a terminating decimal. Remember, if we need to have a terminating decimal, it should have power of 2 or power of 5 in the denominator and nothing else. Right. What are the recurring decimals? So, recurring decimals are the one that keeps on repeating itself. Like if I say 1 by 3, what is 1 by 3? 1 by 3 is nothing but 0 0.33333. And so on infinitely. This is a recurring decimal, right? So let's now come on to the irrational numbers. What are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are non terminating, non recurring. The numbers that actually do not get terminated and do not repeat itself in a cyclic manner are called irrational numbers. The one of the finest examples of irrational number is pi. Just remember, pi and 20 to by 7 are two different numbers. Pi is just an approximate value is 22 by 7 whereas pi comes under the category of irrational number and 22 by 7 comes under the category of rational number. This particular thing has been asked in CAT in a past some year. So what are the other irrational numbers if I'll ask you the other irrational numbers are root 2, root 3, root 4. So is root 4 a irrational number? No because root 4 will turn out to be 2 itself. So under root of non positive non perfect numbers so if a number is not a perfect square if we take under root of it that it will result in an irrational number so is 
टू रूट थ्री अ इेशनल नंबर येस इट इज अ इेशनल नंबर राइट सो आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद वट आर इेशनल नंबर वट आर इेशनल नंबर वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट कम हेयर इज रिकरिंग डेसीमल्स सो लेट सी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट रिकरिंग डेसीमल्स इन टू फ्रैक्शन राइट सो कन्वर्टिंग रैशनल नंबर दैट इज अ रिकरिंग डेसीमल्स इन टू फ्रैक्शन सो वाई दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज बिकॉज सम ऑफ द टाइम्स दैट वी माइट फाइंड अवर आंसर इन टू अ फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म बट द ऑप्शन इज गिविंग इन टू द रिकरिंग डेसीमल फॉर्म or vice versa right so i will be solving it here for the first time so x is equal to what i take this whole number to be equal to x that is 1.4.4 bar so what i am concerned with my motto while solving this will be to make after decimal there should be nothing so what i'll do to eliminate this 4 i'll multiply this whole equation by 10 then it will convert to 44.4 bar Let's say this is equation two, and this was equation one. Now, if I subtract equation two from equation one, what I'll be getting? I'll be getting nine x is equal to forty, or x will be equal to forty upon nine, right? So this is the fraction value of four point four four four. Let's try it with this one. So I take x is equal to twenty three point three bar. Ten x will be equal to two thirty three. Point three bar. Now, if I'll subtract equation two from equation one, what I'll be getting is now I'll be getting nine x is equal to two thirty three minus twenty three. That is two hundred and ten. X will be nothing but two hundred and ten upon nine. Now we can convert this into the lowest form. Let's come here. So now what I have, I have fourteen point two eight five seven. The bar is over the four numbers. So when this bar is over a one number here, so I multiplied it by ten. One number, a bar over one number, I multiplied it by ten. Bar over four numbers, I'll need to have four zeros here, and this will come out to be two eight five seven again. Right. So what I'm making is I'm making these digits same, so that when I'll subtract, these will cancel out. So when I subtract from equation two to equation one, then I'll be getting nine 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 x is equal to one four two eight four three. So x is nothing but one four two eight four three upon double nine double nine. So if you look here, you'll find a pattern. So what is the pattern? Uh, let's say I have bar over one number. So I'll put one nine. And what is the whole number? Whole number is 4.44. 44 minus the number before the decimal, that is 4. So this come out to be 44 minus 4, and bar was over only one number, that is 9. So the whole number here is 233 minus the number that is before the decimal is 23. Upon how on how many numbers there is a bar? The only one number that is 9, right? So the whole number will be 14.2857 minus bar is Not over fourteen, right? Upon how many over how many numbers there is a bar? Four numbers, so four nine, right? I hope you got this. How we are getting these numbers? So let's just have some more examples. So now, if I am having this first one, so first one, how can I solve it? The whole number will be three six three six over how many numbers there will be a bar? Over two numbers, so I'll write ninety nine, and I'll be subtracting this from the number that is thirty six. So I'll be getting three six double zero upon ninety nine x, right? So let's just come to the second part. This is a something that new that we have here. So I'll write x is equal to one to five one to point five six 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 six, right? So now what is happening? If you look all the examples, what was happening is bar is just after the decimal place, but in this particular case, the bar is not just after decimal place. Bar is there is one digit after the decimal and bar is starting after that. So what to do now? Basically, I have not learned how to do this. So I'll convert this to the old form that I know how to deal with. That is, I'll multiply it by ten. Now the decimal place is just after the bar, and I'll do it the way that I want. So I'll convert this to one two five six point six bar. From equation two, I'll be subtracting equation one. Now here I'll be getting 90x, right? And here what I'll be getting is one, one, three, one, right? So x will be nothing but one, one, three, one upon 90, right? So 
in this particular case if i'll now show you the shortcut then how we'll write this bar over one number one nine there is one digit after the decimal on which there is no bar then one zero the whole number is one two five six the number without the bar is one twenty five right so this is how we write a number i'll repeat again in the denominator how many nines are there on the digits that we have bar how many zeros are there after decimal on which we don't have bar decimal ke baad jitne bhi number pe bar nahi hai and upar upar kya aayega in the numerator we'll have the whole number minus number without bar right so you can remember it by just this okay i hope this is clear with you now just move forward with the classification of the numbers so i have the whole table in front of me so we have done real number imaginary numbers real number were part of rational and rational number rational numbers can further be divided into integer and fractions fractions can further be divided into proper and improper what are proper fractions proper fractions are like 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 7 basically when we have numerator less than denominator then it is called a proper fraction what are improper fractions 2 by 1 3 by 2 7 by 3 basically when we have numerator greater than denominator remember only improper fractions can be written as mixed fraction so these can also be written as mixed fraction right let's come on to the integer part integers we have negative integers we have a zero that is neither negative nor positive we have positive integers If we we'll combine zero plus positive integers, we will call it as whole numbers. Only positive integers are called natural numbers. Natural numbers can further be divided into even numbers or odd numbers. What are e even numbers that are divisible by two? What are odd numbers that are not divisible by two? Here you must be knowing some of the properties. Let me state that you must be knowing that even plus even will give you even number. Even plus odd. Will give you odd number, odd plus odd will give you even number. Apart from this, the property of multiplication, even into even, will give you even number. Even into odd will give you a even number. Odd into odd will give you a odd number. Right? Okay. Now just come on to the these properties. we have a prime numbers we have the number 1 we have composite numbers what are prime numbers basically the numbers that has two factors are called prime numbers the number that has more than two factors are called composite number and the number 1 why 1 is neither prime nor composite because obviously it has only one factor that is one itself right we will be dealing with the prime numbers in a lot more details in the further chapters i hope the classification is clear to all of you this classification was just the mere basics of the whole number system be here with the second part and the third part that i yet to come we will be going into the much more depth of this chapter thank you for listening and do subscribe to our channel by clicking on the icon that is showing on the screen right now thank you